So, the Kardashians were snubbed. Tiffany Haddish is exposing the Grammys and some bad news for Ellen, guys. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. Subscribe, guys. Click that button. Patreon merch. And let's just get straight into this quick fire video. So, the Kardashians could be irritated. Maybe they're not. But they have, you know, been snubbed from the... Forbes list of the most powerful people, 100 people, you know, on this planet, and not one of them made it onto their list. And, you know, reports could say that they could be irritated or angry by it. But at the same time, I'm not really surprised. I don't really see any one of them as powerful individuals. Yes, you may have Kim who has helped quite a few people when it comes to social justice, and that in itself I think is amazing. She's used her influence for good. However, I don't think that would qualify them as you know anybody to be in the powerful list of 100 people on Forbes, um, especially because Forbes don't really have a good relationship with the Kardashians, especially what she, what Forbes did to, not what Forbes did, but they released, they kind of exposed Kylie Jenner for faking taxes and so forth. That was crazy back in May. So you wouldn't really expect any of them to be there, but obviously they have bad relations with the company maybe, who really knows? We have some bad news for Ellen. Um, she is losing sponsors like fast. And it's also being reported that, you know, she, her finale ratings have dropped by 37% compared to the last season. And while ratings for syndicated talk shows are down by 19% on average, the Ellen show drop is the steepest. Even Neiman, founder and CEO of Red Bunny and a crisis management and public relations firm, ultimately believes the funny lady will make it. Funny, I really don't think so, but yeah, sure. Um, it's interesting, one, one, one publicist admitted, I wouldn't set up anyone on a show right now to do anything that could possibly cause them more negative headlines. You have to tread so carefully with your clients and your client's reputation. So you don't want to put your client in any line of fire sympathizing with someone that any community or anyone would feel bad about. We're not going to align anyone with Ellen. A source close to the show, however, told BuzzFeed that they've had no problems booking quality talent. The show is fully booked and a lot of those guests are exclusive to Ellen and that's even more remarkable because as you know, there are no movies opening, there are no concerts being had and there are no TV events or premiums. So the whole talk show circuit that these major celebrities do is not happening. Interesting. So, you know, back and forth, but apparently the sponsors are staying away from her and she is losing ratings. People assume that her ratings were great when she first came back, but of course the finale ratings were the lowest I've ever seen. Tiffany Addish is kind of exposing the Grammys. She was meant to do, you know, interviews for celebrities and she's declined it because the Grammys were telling her that she would have to pay for her own wardrobe and that she would not be getting paid for the gig at all. Now, I'm not a major fan of Tiffany, but at the same time, I would agree with her. This is a direct reflection of knowing your worth. And, you know, you have these massive corporations who can pay you. They have the budget to pay you, but if they think that you are not the worth they will offer you something below your worth. And if you don't know your worth, you will take it. So I'm glad that she did not, and she completely said, you know what, this is not going to happen. I'm not gonna be part of the Grammys, a massive institution, but I'm not getting paid. And they're telling me to pay for my own travel or me to pay for my own wardrobe. I think that is pathetic, and they should be paying for everything and then paying her on top. That is how it should be, and that is how all these corporations do. The gag is, guys, these corporations have a budget. They are massive corporations for a reason. They have the money, they have the coin. Don't place yourself in a position, do not place yourself within a position that will lower your worth. Do not undervalue yourself when these big corporations come to you. And if they say, you know what, sorry, bye, cool, that's great. But at the end of the day, that's better than being valued less and then companies will know that you're valued like that and then they won't come to you again and you know, know who you are, know what you bring to the table Otherwise, just completely just move along. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this. I thought I'm beginning to mesh topics now into videos. I just can't bother to make separate videos on some of the stuff. I'm just putting it all in one. But let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to all of this. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.